Hey guitar enthusiasts, welcome back. Lauren Bateman here. In this lesson video, we're gonna be doing a very simple song by Marshall Tucker Band called Can't You See? Let's get into the video. Now the great thing about this Marshall Tucker Band song is that it's the same chord progression from the beginning of the song all the way through to the end. So it makes it really great for beginners and it's all open chords. It's a D chord, a C chord, and a G chord. That's the only three chords we need for this song. And you can use my simple two finger chords if you need to do that. So if you need the chords and lyrics to follow along to, go to my website, laurenbateman.com, and you can pull that up on one side, leave the video up, and play along with me here. So before we get into the actual song, I'm just gonna show you three different strummings that you could use on this song, depending on your level. So we're gonna start with the easiest, or maybe I'm gonna give you four, because the absolute easiest would just be do whole note strumming. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that would be the absolute easiest. Um, but the next one is just do four strums per chord. One, two, three, an absolute beginner that's how I would do it just four down strums all right and I'll do a playthrough for you guys kind of at the end a little bit the second strumming pattern this one gives it a little bit more flavor so this is kind of like a, a later beginner strumming pattern so if I do that D chord again this is gonna be one two three and four and I think it brings a little bit more life to the song so we got one two three and four and one sounds like Proud Mary because Proud Mary has a lot of D chords in it. Um, again, so we got down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So hopefully you can, you can feel that and hear that. So that would be the kind of beginner rhythm. Uh, if you're better with your strumming and you can do 16th note rhythms, I consider 16th note strumming a little bit more intermediate, but maybe you can figure it out. I'll let you give you an option. Um, this is usually what I would play for this song. It's one, two, and a three, four, and a down, 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 up, down, 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 up. That's what it sounds like. One, two, two and a three four and a down 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 up down 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 up. so if I put these strumming patterns over the chord progression so the chord progression like I said it's the same for the entire song which makes it awesome for beginners because you don't have to go about memorizing a lot of chords it's four chords over and over again so we have a D chord a C chord, a G chord, and a D chord. That's the chord progression, it stays the same beginning to end, whether you're on the verse, whether you're on the chorus, it's all the same, okay? Um, I can spice up the rhythm more, but we're gonna keep this rhythm very simple. Hey guys, before I get into playing the song real quick, if you're enjoying this lesson, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on those notifications, this way you know when I release more videos just like this one. Okay, so D, C, D, C, G, D, okay? I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to start with rhythm one, two, three, and four. I'm going to just do a couple playthroughs and then I'll do the 16th note rhythm and I'll do a couple playthroughs. Ready? So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two. Three. All right, I'm going to do the downs. Me saying anything. One more time. Okay, so that's the first rhythm. And here's the second rhythm now. So we got one, two, and a three, four, and a 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 one. So let's 
let's do a little bit here. I'm gonna do a verse and a chorus for you guys, ready? I'm gonna use the more intricate strumming pattern, but um, you guys use whichever one works best for you. So we got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take a freight train down to the station. It's a super, super simple song. Great song for beginners if you're just getting started. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this lesson. YouTube's gonna pop up a couple more videos over there. Go check those out, and I'll see you guys in another lesson video very soon.